In next three minutes, I'm going to guide you about complete information related to Microsoft IntraConnect. As we know that Microsoft IntraConnect can help us to synchronize the users from on-premises AD to Microsoft 365 portal. Apart from the work of synchronization, we are able to find n number of components whenever we install IntraConnect on on-premises. The components are password hash synchronization, password write back, password authentication, SSO, ADFS, custom user synchronization, alternate UPN suffix. So these all are the important components we are able to find whenever we install this particular tool on on-premises AD. So let's talk about the work of each and every component. Start from password hash. The meaning of password hash synchronization, it will always bring the password of your user from on-premises AD and transfer to the Microsoft 365 portal. Means, for example, you created one user on on-premises with name of ABC and the password that you configured may be cloud at one, two, three, the same username and password you are able to use to, you are able to use to log in your Microsoft 365 portal. So, Next, password write back. The password write back is responsible to perform the task just opposite of password hash because the password write back can help us to reset the password from portal and the same password we are able to find on on-premises. Number third, PTA, password authentication. The responsibility of password authentication can work just like as a password hash synchronization, but the difference between password authentication and password hash synchronization Pass through authentication required your on-premises server must be turned on and connected with internet. If your on-premises server is down, then you are not able to uh, authorize your user to log in your Microsoft 365 portal. Correct. Third number, SSO, the single sign-on. As per the name suggests, with the help of single sign-on, with the help of SSO, we are able to use same user ID and password to log in on multiple applications at the same time. Next, custom user synchronization. N number of users that you created on on-premises, like 25 different users you created on on-premises AD, but you don't want to synchronize entire 25 users. You just want to synchronize only 15 users or maybe 10 users. So that time, custom user synchronization come into the picture. Alternate UPN suffix, as for the name suggests, like your on-premises domain that you establish on on-premises with name of cloud.com and over a portal, you establish a domain with name of teachmecloud.net. So alternate UPN suffix you need to configure on on-premises to synchronize your users, which already associated with cloud.com. You just need to change the UPN suffix of your user account and then synchronize. So guys, this is all about Microsoft IntraConnect. I hope everyone able to understand. So do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. I'm going to share uh, daily basis videos related to our core and important technology. Take care guys. Bye-bye.